a fourth grade, Mr. Freeman here. Um, so the purpose of today's video is we will be going over um, unit two from the packet, from the park practice packet that we sent home with you guys um, right before we got out. Um, so go ahead and grab those, is what we're looking for. And we're starting with the questions from unit two, which would be um, questions 12, 13, and 14. Um, the text that's covered uh, or connected to those questions are the wild horses of Assateague Island. Um, so that is the text that you should have read before um, answering the questions. If you have not read the text yet, um, pause the video here, go over to your packet, read the text a couple of times, make sure you annotate. Um, also, Miss Rowe has a video where she is doing a read aloud of that specific passage. Um, so this would be a good time for you to pause and go over and see that video as well. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get started. All righty. Let me maximize this. All right, so what you should be seeing on your screen um, is question 12, part A. Um, this question says, read the sentence from paragraph seven of the wild horses of Assateague Island. Assateague's horses are uniquely adapted to survive on a barrier island. What does the word adapted mean as it is used in the sentence? So I know you're probably thinking, hmm, I should probably go back into the paragraph, um, specifically paragraph seven, and read the sentence that has the word adapted in it. So we're gonna scroll back up, go to paragraph seven, and right here, I have this entire sentence and we see the word adapted. Aesthetique sources are uniquely adapted to survive on a barrier island. So looking at this word adapted, I see that it's also next to the words to survive. So I know that adapted has something to do with helping um, the horses being able to survive. So let's read our answer choices. A, chosen because of a gentle manner. B, changed in order to fit certain conditions. C, cared for because of harsh living conditions or D, colored in order to match the surroundings. The best strategy to use here would be to reread the sentence and try to replace the vocabulary word each time with one of those answer choices. For example, let's start with A. Astatique's horses are uniquely chosen because of a gentle manner. B, Astatique's horses are uniquely changed in order to fit certain conditions to survive on a barrier island. C, Aesthetics horses are uniquely cared for because of harsh living conditions. Or D, Aesthetics horses are uniquely colored in order to match the surroundings. Now, as we always say, there's always going to be at least two options that we know are absolutely incorrect. So let's take a moment and think about which answer choices can we go ahead and automatically get rid of. Hmm. I think the ones I'm going to choose to get rid of are going to be A and C. Um, I know that neither of those really make sense for um, being able to adapt to survive. So that leaves me with B and D. Which of those answer choices would be the best or make the most sense? If you said B, you are absolutely correct. Um, the word adapted does mean to change in order to fit certain conditions. And these horses did have to change over time in order to be able to survive on the barrier island. Let's move on to part B. Which statement from the Wild Horses of Assateague Island best supports the answer to part A? So here they're asking us for the detail from the text that best supports or proves what we chose for part A. So for part A, we chose B, change in order to fit certain conditions. So which one of these details supports or proves that? A, genetically, they are considered horses, even though they are now pony size. 
B, many of the horses live in the marshes close to their best food sources. C, foals are usually born in late spring. D, this helps maintain a hardy, healthy population of wild horses. So let's think about which of these answer choices best supports or proves that um, the horses had to adapt to survive in these living conditions. Let's take a moment to think. If you said A, you are absolutely correct. This is the um, best answer choice because it, it proves to us that because of where they live, their, their size has changed over time. All right, let's move on down to number 13, part A. This question says, which statement provides the best explanation of why the Assateague courses have survived on the barrier island for so long? So they are simply asking us, what did the text um, say that um, gives an explanation of why these horses have been able to survive so long? A, the townspeople have kept the horses as pets for many years. B, the horses are protected when visitors drive cautiously. C, the horses adjusted to the island. Or D, the fire department provides the horses, horses with some veterinary care. So let's take a moment to think which two answer choices can we go ahead and get rid of that we know are absolutely incorrect? So for me, I'm going to get rid of A and B. I don't feel like either of those answer choices um, explain why the horses have been able to survive on this island. That leaves me with C and D. Um, the horses adjusted to the island, or D, the fire department provides the horses with, horses with some veterinary care. Out of those two answer choices, I feel like the best one would be letter C, the, um, the horses adjusted to the island. Adjusted almost means the same as adapted. So because they have adapted or they have adjusted, that's why they have been able to survive there. Let's move down to part B. Which sentence from the Wild Horses of Assateague Island best supports the answer to part A? So we said that part A was that they've adjusted to the island. So which of these answer choices supports or proves that? A, the Wild Horses of Assateague Island are descendants of domesticated animals brought to the island over 300 years ago. B, the Assateague horses drink over twice the amount of water that domesticated horses will due to their salty food supply. C, Virginia's horses are privately owned by the Chingo Teague Volunteer Fire Department and receive some veterinary care. Or D, you can often see the horses and other wildlife by driving slowly along park roads. So which one of these details best proves that they have adjusted to the island? Take a moment to think. If you said letter B, you are absolutely correct. Um, now that they are able to drink over twice the amount of water um, because of their salty food supply, that proves that they have been able to adjust to living on the island. All right, and let's move on to question number 14, part A. This question says, which statement about how the horses came to live on Assateague Island has the most support in the wild horses of Assateague Island. So basically, which of these has the most amount of details? So A, the horses were placed on the island by the government. B, the horses swam to the island after a shipwreck. C, the horses were put on the island by farmers. Or D, the horses were native to the island. That word native means that they were born there. So let's think about which of these um, was most supported um, in this passage. Let's go ahead and get rid of two answer choices that we know are absolutely incorrect. So I'm going to get rid of letters B and D. I know that the horses did not swim to the island. And I also know that they were not native to the island. They were not born there. We know that they were brought there. So that leaves us with A, so, excuse me, A and C. These both um, show examples of them being placed or brought to the island. So in the text, which one of these is proven true? 
If you said letter C, you are absolutely correct. The horses were put on the island by farmers. So let's move down to part B. Which phrase from the wild horses of Assateague Island best supports the answer to part A? So which answer choice proves or supports that they were placed on the island by farmers? Let's read our answer choices. A, dramatic tale of struggle and survival. B, descendants of those hardy animals turned loose. C, owned and managed by the National Park Service or D, free roaming wildlife and could be anywhere. So which of these proves that they were uh, put on the island by farmers? Let's take a moment to think. If you said letter B, you are absolutely correct. Descendants of those hardy animals turned loose. Turning, the, turning them loose means that they were put on the island um, so that they could roam free. All right, so that wraps up today's uh, video and today's lesson. Um, so come back tomorrow for the second video, which we will be going over questions uh, 15 through 17 of unit two. Um, thank you guys so much. I hope you are staying safe, you're staying well and healthy. Um, and please reach out to us if you have any questions, guys. I look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye-bye.